We're at the halfway mark of the calendar year, and industry experts believe this is a great time to revisit your financial plans. For more insight on what you can do to help save money and rethink your finances is branch manager at Cornerstone Community Financial Credit Union, Megan Miller. Megan, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. So for everyone out there right now that wants to think about what do we need to do with our finances? What are some strategies we should take going through the summer and of course into the fall? How would you advise somebody right now? Absolutely. So as you know, the temperatures are changing, you wanna make sure that your interest rates on your credit cards are not rising with the temperature. Um, I know that might sound silly, but you know, really sometimes making sure that you get the best rate on your credit card is really where it's at. Historically, credit unions do have lower rates um, and it's going to be lower than banks and other, you know, credit card issuers. For example, credit Cornerstone, um, we have a credit card and that's as low as 10%. Wow. And the industry standard is what? Probably closer to 20. Yeah. Yeah. Usually 24.59%. Um, and that's according to the Forbes Advisors weekly credit uh, card report. When you come out of the pandemic like we have and obviously dealing with inflation, are you seeing a lot of credit card debt and issues where people are getting into trouble right now? Yeah, so um, it's really, you know, there's been lots of changes going on around us, um, but making sure that you stick with your budget really is key. Um, so usually going into the summer, sometimes, you know, expenses can throw you off your regular spending, but, you know, make sure you stay on budget. That's key. We've seen savings accounts right now, the interest rates as high as they have been. Is now a great time to take your money perhaps out of the stock market, putting it into savings accounts because you're guaranteed a higher interest rate or is it important to diversify? So really, honestly, meeting with somebody to go over your finances um, is really the best option. So each person is different, right? So it's always a good idea to save, um, but each person's different. You might want to contribute to your 401k and do an additional 1%. You won't notice it on your, your paychecks, but you'll notice it in the long run. Why is now a great time to revisit your finances? When you when think about this well, time of the year yeah. specifically. Yeah, so we're about halfway through the year, right? So now is a good time to rebalance everything. Get yourself in line for the end of the year taxes. Yeah, and some good ways to stick to your budget. What are some recommendations? So making sure that you know your cash flow, right? Um, you want to make intentional decisions, making sure that the, the, the item that you want to purchase right now is actually worth it, or would it be better to put this in the savings account for maybe a future investment? And does that depend upon the person, or do you have a strategy that you believe works? Well, it really does depend on the person, but we have special people that you can meet with at each branch. And we can set you up on an individual plan that works best for each person. So what are some tips if you want to rebalance your investments or need to rebalance your investments? So check with your tax preparer. That's one thing. Um, making sure that you're on track for the year. Um, 401k, if you have a new job and you need to transfer that 401k over, um, again, increasing the 401k checking your current um, investment in your current portfolio, um, that, that would be a really good start. The stock market obviously has taken a hit the last year and a half, two years. Is now still a good time to invest in stocks or in your opinion, is are we at kind of the height right now? So I'm, I'm not a financial ad advisor, um, but it really depends on how much of a risk you're looking to take um, that would be based on the recommendation that we would um, we would go after. Sure, and obviously right now, summertime, people are taking their vacations, they wanna go away, whether it's to the beach, whether it's to the lake, whether it's to Europe, wherever, to spend some money. How do you advise to balance your budget? And, and, and the keys there, when you look at the rising costs of travel and expenses and things like that. Yeah, so making sure that you're planning accordingly. Um, Cornerstone has a account where you we call it the vacation savings account, and you can put money in there consistently, and it builds up. Um, so that way, over time, you're not going in debt over a vacation, and it will allow you to to go on the vacations without 
missing on anything as well. Sure. So what's a good rule of thumb as far as how much, if you have a pie, how much would you divide up as far as percentage going to, you know, your car payment or your mortgage, um, as well as spending money and vacation money? What is a good rule of thumb as far as dividing that yeah. up? Yeah. Yeah. So I would say it's always good to have at least three months in the savings account to cover those regular expenses in your account. What's well, interesting um, because some people then, say that's not enough. I mean, three months. Some people say six months or a year <laughs> or even. I mean, and, and so do you really believe three months is, yeah. the, is the way to go? I think if you're starting off, yes. And I think that's something to build off of, to be honest. I do. <laughs> yeah, so break down that pie for us. If, if you have to divide yeah. up, if you can, if you, if you have to divide up your, your expenses as far as your mortgage, your car payment, food, uh, all sorts of utility bills, maybe student loans, as well as vacation money. Yeah, so um, obviously you wanna make sure that, you know, the, the mortgage and the vehicle are paid for. Um, if I were to put it into a pie, obviously, most of your, your income is going to go towards your living expenses, right? Um, and then if you have any additional expenses, you want to put th that away for emergency fund. Um, once your emergency fund is filled, you want to make sure that if you have any additional things that you're saving for, you can reach that. It's really hard to say any kind of specific numbers on that, um, but it's always good to make sure that all of your your daily living expenses are taken care of in advance and then planning for that vacation next. All right, well, Megan Miller from Cornerstone Community Financial Credit Union, we thank you so much for your time and your insight tonight. We appreciate you joining us on CBS News Detroit at 7. Thank you, Jeff.